Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the continuation of Atomic Heart here on That's Your Professional Walkthroughs channel with me, your host Max. So in the previous episode we had a big boss battle and we were able to get into the Pavlov's complex. Now in here there are two robots and one of them is the same model as this one but unfortunately she got shredded into bits and pieces and so now we have to go through this complex in order to find all of her parts and put her together as apparently our boss the doctor responsible for all the robots and everything else got the news that the heads of the socialist party are headed in here and this complex should be the place where they should be arriving so i'm not really sure how that's all gonna work out but we have places to go things to explore and there's just gonna be lots of things now unfortunately the map does not seem to be working because we are underground so we're gonna have to see what's waiting for us and our arsenal keeps growing every day so that's something but i'm quite sure wow, there will check be this place out. a it's lot like a of palace. enemies talk about class let me just drink it all in Attention. I think he sees me from the floor below. That's actually quite impressive that the robot is like already heading this way in order to attack me. Call me impressed. So we finally got the AK and uh, this rifle can be potentially game changing if I learn how to use it properly. I'll have to be careful around these doors because I'm quite sure there's gonna be one of the robots hiding within. And we have lots of these stations where Fchelas can be launched from. So depending on how much damage is dealt to what, we can run into a few issues here. Now, I'm not exactly sure where I will have to go. I'm not really sure where did he come from. And because we can also install the module upgrades to the weapon, this will allow the rifle to shoot projectiles, which can have, for example, fire or electric shock. Whoa. What the hell is that? Okay, apparently shooting it in the leg did work. But what the hell was that shield and that weapon? Can I grab that? I'm like trying to fight freaking Zapdos from Pokemon, goddammit. Okay. Well, they are definitely amping up the difficulty. It's gonna be interesting to see how this is gonna work out. I'm not really sure if the robot managed to run up. Okay. It managed to get a few more shots in him. Holy crap, is it that all of these knuckleheads with the stun batons are going to be able to do this? This one did not have the stun baton, and how am I supposed to understand this slide next to the staircase? Why is there a slide? Why did that robot run upstairs? Is he gonna try to, like, go after me from behind? Holy crap, he is! Wait, are you trying to tell me that one round was enough? Okay. I'm not sure how I'm supposed to understand that a pistol would have a higher damage output than the assault rifle. Maybe it's the accuracy of it 
Who knows? Who knows? We'll have to test this out. There's the black version. Those are much more dangerous. And I don't mind shooting at him already because eventually I'll probably have to go and face against these knuckleheads as is. Five rounds from the distance. I'm sorry I have the Call of Duty reflex where after a few rounds I start reloading. That is absolutely not necessary. But what can I say? It's showing that I used to play games back in the day. I wanted to die today. Which were actually quite good. Didn't see that coming. Well, did everything go according to plan? Collier and I broke up yesterday. His parents were transferred to Sahalin. The real one. Not the one in this exhibition. He went with them. He said we wouldn't be together. So I wanted to die. You're not wrong. When you're falling off a bridge, it feels like you can fix anything. Except for the fact you're falling off a bridge. But as I was lying here, I suddenly realized there is no idea stupider than giving up on life because of a boyfriend. It even sounds ridiculous. Yeah, sorry to hear that. I'll tell the guide I found you. She was worried. Okay, I'm not really sure what are these spores growths. Almost makes you think like some of the exhibits and stations and everything. What the hell, man? Where the hell did that shit come from? What did I do to you? And I swear to God, my character got stuck. There's meant to be one more. So that seems to be the torso, and it's missing a hand and a leg and a few more parts. <laughs> seems like this is barricaded from the other side. The closest one is over here. I just have to be careful around whatever the hell this is. So it won't hit me again. Because, uh, yeah, my HP. <sighs> New scanning cycle. Module, limb, leg, left. Not found. <sighs> Just great. So where am I even supposed to look? I swear on my cooling unit, these mustached perverts must have dragged her into the maintenance room. I'm on my way. Yeah, they, they kind of do have that 70s porn stash going for them, but why do I know that? I I, I don't know. Don't 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 ask. Just just go with the comment, I guess. Some weird music is kicking in. Again with these weird positions. Problem here is, I don't know if the big robot is actually hostile or not. We have some Fchella floating around, so I don't know if these are active or they are just here as some potential, maybe, designs or to show off what is being done. Again, the TV, I, I swear to God, there's like a million episodes of this thing. Maybe you would be even able to find it on YouTube, who knows? Like, back in the day, when YouTube did not used to be so strict, I saw even, like, the entire series of Frasier uploaded onto YouTube, and that's 11 seasons, and each has like 20 episodes or so, so that was quite fun. Uh, but, uh... 
I'm not really sure if that's <laughs> possible today. So maybe this is just really a model. It does say that it has like weakness. This place used to be really nice until everybody got killed. It is a most tragic sight. There is something over there. Maybe I missed something. You always want to scavenge the location. It might be ammo. It might be whatever. You never know. And uh, the exploration is usually rewarded. I honestly have to say, since I lately started playing System Shock, I never had the chance to play the original or the sequel to it. But I, I, I just have to say that there's, there's something about the game that I just find amazing and I really enjoy playing it despite the fact that it's like really difficult and it's not trying to hold your hand and tell you what to do and stuff like that. Okay, so here we have some bigger models. That's one of those things which got crushed by the hut uh, with the uh, Granny Xena. So I'm guessing eventually we'll have to find that thing. There's a camera. So I'll have to... What the hell? So th is that like just a model? I thought that it's like active camera, so I, I just went into the mode of automatically shooting at it and it seems like they have some sort of designs for even underwater exploration possibly but problem here is that the spores are in here and so i don't want to deal with those there's one more three rounds First four. <clears throat> the hell was that? Now the benefit to this is that I can at least get like the biological material. And since these knuckleheads can spawn indefinitely if you don't destroy these hive mines or wh whatever I'm supposed to call these things. <laughs> you can have quite a lot of problems because from the previous location where we were at, they were able to latch on to the dead corpses and just create some sort of zombies out of them, so... There's definitely something to keep in mind. Uh, this still is not creepy at all. I told you disconnecting the Terrish Copas from the network was a bad idea. They've been acting weird lately. You don't believe me? Just listen to this. Look, my dearest Claire. See that group of humans? They're visitors. The little ones are newer models. They're called children. And they make things prettier and more fun. The ones that are a little older are called students. They can do a little bit more. And the older model behind the column is called a senior citizen. And he seems to keep staring at us. They're talking about me. They saw me. Those robots were watching the people at the exhibit like they were the exhibit themselves. It's all really creepy. I'd wipe their memory if I were you. Okay, so here's the weird part. Um, I'm not really sure where the hell did this one fly off from. I was able to latch on to one of the bodies. Now I know where the hell did it come from. Why did the scan not reveal it? I am not sure. But it seems like this place is a dead end. So I'll just grab the biological materials as they are needed for some of the upgrades. 
This is an interesting concept. Just not sure how you would turn left or right. There's like lack of rudders and stuff. And I'm not the biggest fan of submarines, but that's due to what they are making right now with World of Warships. Uh... Okay, so... I'll have to... Yep. The hell is with that body over there? So, so far these robots were okay, but we had the instance that one of them actually decided to attack me. Uh, hey, that this was is annoying. New. You may need to apply spatial reasoning here. There's no may about it. These locks of yours are really something, you know that? Uh, what the hell am I supposed to do in here? Uh, firstly, it seems like we cannot change the polarity of the magnet. Crap on a cracker, we got more of those freaks. What the hell are you talking about? Oh, there's like a safe station. Fading data. But mo more freaks? What are you talking about now? Okay. Is this not... Uh... So, well, why does the, this robot has the big old, you know, and this one looks like it's perfectly finished, and there's a creepy kid doll, and of course the female one has to be naked. Okay, this seems to be our way through. Hey, Charlie, why couldn't they just put regular, more reliable locks everywhere? Like with codes and shit? I suspect it's because if they had, anyone who had the code would be able to open the locks without authorization. Yeah, but now anyone who solves the puzzles can get through. In other words, pretty much anybody. God damn it, I actually got scared by that one robot because I did not notice it and uh, fun, fun stuff. Why would you make the magazine 31 rounds? Budge. I was really hoping that like a uh, headshot would do some sort of critical damage. Does not seem to be the case. I feel like all these doors, which have the red light now, are locked. But because I'm gonna go downstairs and do whatever, I'm gonna have to flip some weird switch. And then all of a sudden, all of them are gonna get activated. Anything in here? Well, you know the policy. If we can crawl in, we're gonna explore it. Though I have no idea what's down here. It seems like this is a room where we see the models rotating. I'm just skeptical now when I see all these robots in here. Because I don't trust it, and I don't know what is a model and what is not, and what the hell happened to you? It looks like you tried to put your junk into some sort of grinder. This is so weird. Is 
So I guess I'll have to spend this. Charles, what do the special neuro connectors from Sechenov's team look like? The special neuro connectors have the Greek letter gamma on them and are shaped like bracelets. They are worn on the right arm. Gamma? What happened to Beta? Or are those the fake connectors you told me about? The fake connectors do in fact have the letter Beta on them, but the Beta connectors were real at first. Uh, I don't get it. The first experimental prototypes of the neuro connectors with discretionary authority were called Beta connectors. There were only two of them, and Dr. Sechenov designed them to look like rings. So, what happened to them? After the necessary experiments were complete, Dr. Sechenov removed these rings from the list of special neuro connectors. Enhanced gamma models shaped like bracelets were then made for the scientists, one for each member of his team. Okay, there are only seven of those gamma connectors? For Vavilov, Korolyov, Kurchatov, Lebedev, Pavlov, Filomonenko, and Chelome? Indeed. Okay, what the hell uh, is with this car? I can just literally walk through it. Uh, so it seems like there's some specialized rings. There's two models which allow us to technically move through here. And I'm guessing we're going to need to find something in the second portion. That will allow me to reach those stairs. And maybe I'll need to switch this to the model with the car. So that I can climb up over there and then make a jump over there. I guess that's the solution to this puzzle. Okay, so we're gonna have some sort of robot ahead. Still don't know what deals more damage to these things. If it's the shot to the center mass. Yeah, the, the headshots, I just don't think they're doing anything to the robots. So it's not like some sort of, I don't know, neural core or something is stored in there. So it's hard for me to determine. It seems to be locked. I think we have to go through here. And this is all for one piece of the robot. So... I need to switch to a different weapon. Oh my god, how much do I have to replay now? No! This is gonna be annoying. Since a pistol is more efficient, I think I'll have to use shotgun. The electro weapon, I don't think it's gonna help uh, carry me through. Pistol is definitely not gonna do it. I would need some sort of freaking grenade or something. Thing. Uh, okay, this is gonna be stupid engagement. I can see that already. So I cannot get cornered in there because they turn on the lasers, and that just uh, is just total bullshit. But okay. On the papa. 
And just spraying the rounds does not do anything. Uh, am I able to... Let's try the electric cartridge versus the robots. The problem is the size of the magazine. I'm just getting started. Where's your fucking button? Come on, keep reloading. Get over here, you little fucker. Heal up. I think even like the last attack did not manage to somehow sink in. Okay, this is freaking annoying as hell. But I managed to deal with it. Sh shocking that, like, what was it, four of them? Could cause so many issues, but most of it was bound to the fact that they turned on the laser. I wasn't able to get back and I ended up being stuck. Okay, what is up with these golden pigs and stuff? That is so weird. Anything which we can use over here? Uh, I have to get down there, so what? When I turn this... It was a stupid idea, but I did not really know what the hell else would I do. Careful so I don't get hit. Oh my god, Soviets uh, experimenting with open office. But that sounds horrible already. I guess this is my way up. Okay, so now we are like on the other side. I don't know what's gonna happen if I turn this. I'm paranoid and we're gonna fall through. Okay. Climb well, on top of this pipe. Well, okay. You have reached the facility service rooms, Major. One of my dear Claire's legs is most certainly there. Yeah, the truth is out there, right? I'm not sure if that's a reference to something. I've never seen bots like these before. This robot is very dangerous in melee combat. Uh, oh, so that's why I'm getting my ass kicked. Oh, shit. Major, one of my dear Claire's legs is most certainly there. Yeah, the truth is out there, right? Let's try the fire cartridge and see what's gonna happen. Uh, 
Okay, sorry, I got interrupted by something. Uh... No, I did not want to use it now. God freaking damn it. Uh, I have to scan these freaking robots in order to determine what is their weakness to. I've never seen bots like these before. This robot is very dangerous in melee combat. Oh, so that's why I'm getting my ass kicked. Come on. So they are resistant to fire, or why, why don't I see the weakness? And of course, the second one is stuck over there. Without me being able to properly attack it. And if I get up there, I'll get instantaneously turned into salad. even more I just pushed it back but I haven't resolved the issue of the freaking thing being there I cannot swap the weapon now god this complex is pissing me off I'm not sure if it's blown up now. The second one fell down and I seriously don't want to redo the whole puzzle in order to get up here. But these robots are definitely gonna be annoying as hell. Because I really have not identified what are they weak to. And so that's gonna mean a lot of problems for me in future encounters. Okay, this is the perfect zone for like them to open up those doors and let in six robots or something. Just FYI. Now I'm not really sure where the hell to go now. And it stinks that I can only equip like one electric module to my weapons. Or do I need to hold multiple ones in order Charles, to be able to Charles, I've never seen do Dr. So. Sechenov wearing a bracelet before. Does his alpha connector look different? Indeed it does. His device is unique, and its shape and location are one of Dr. Sechenov's deepest secrets. So his alpha connector must be really well guarded. Who's watching it, Argentum? Entrusting humans with the connector would be far too risky. It's guarded by Dr. Sechenov's personal bodyguards. You mean the ballerina twins? The way they move. They're so graceful and elegant. Okay, uh... So if Chillas are back, these ones are the ones with the laser. They're annoying because they get right up to your face and they start shooting that beam right at you. So I guess I can attach the leg. Here's your leg, do yourself a pair thing. <laughs> cool tech. Okay, so now I guess the robot can walk away to less strategically <laughs> advantageous position because we are right at the bottom. I mean, like you can put a bunch of robots around this hexagonal shape in the upper floors and just tear me to shreds just saying lots of these locations where they can ambush me from or emerge from so I'll have to be on a lookout it would be awesome if I can find some location where I would save my progress Probably craft some AK ammo. Also, not that many rounds of uh, shotgun that I have access to. 
great. So there's containers with lootable stuff and I cannot get to them. Maybe from the other side. I'll need to get the containers in here so that I can unlock these rooms apparently. I think I saw some ammo in there, but... I'm quite sure I'll have to craft the AK ammunition. So let's go talk to the freaking machine. Granted. I still haven't been able to craft some of these weapons. I'm just missing a whole lot of metal parts. I can craft some medical stuff. So let's grab those. Access granted. Ammo. AK rounds. I don't want to go too much into the uh, metal components. I'm going to deplete most of my cartridges here. Please select the desired procedure. And... Uh, Let's craft some shotgun shells too. And I'll have to look if I'll be able to make another shock module. Access granted. That a dynamo. Okay, no. Earthridges, electric one. Okay, I'll have to arrange my storage uh pm ammo i have way too many oh, oh these frost cartridges seems like 40 is the maximum so we have quite a lot of pm ammo can put these over here for now. Put the AK ammo in here. This is gonna last me for a while. I can theoretically try to disassemble the small ones. But that way I'll get back some stuff. So that I can keep crafting maybe the more advanced versions. I have to know what the hell to use the dynamo for. I don't have a clue as of yet. And uh, you will receive... I don't need the deep booze itself. I don't drink personally. Condensed milk. Uh, sure. I don't know what this does. Quite a lot of metal components in it. I'm not gonna disassemble the fat boy rocket because eventually it might come in handy if I find out what the hell is the big boy. Uh, let's not use the small one instead. I would love to craft the more advanced ones because now with the engagements, uh, I keep getting beat quite severely. I don't think I need that many ice cartridges, upgrades. Mm, supercharger. Increase elemental damage dealt by polymer. I'm starting to run low on chemistry. Okay, uh, I'll have to take a look Access also granted. at 
upgrading my glove. I'm not really sure if there's something that would help me increase my armor. I have quite a lot of neuropolymer. Tactical backpack. How do I get this? Okay. Or do I already have this? Mass telekinesis, polymer jet, polymer shield. Okay, so it seems like I can... I don't have the option to buy it, so I feel like I already have these. So I have to buy these ones in order to get access to whatever this is. Medical supplies allows you to fully regenerate health in a matter of seconds. Your excellent physical ability grants you additional dodge charge. Not really sure how to dodge, but shields you from all damage while dodging. Photon sync increases your suit's laser resistance. Hey, I have all these polymers. Let's use them. Your suit's built-in med unit restores more health. Increases your maximum health. You can use Neuromed capsule with one hand. Increases your maximum health. This should be quite useful for a knucklehead like me. Shock. Uh, your glove can produce an electromagnetic discharge. Power amplifier. Shock deals more damage and pushes back enemies. Yes. Uh, upgrade to the electromagnetic unit that increases the effective range. Yes. Energy management. I should have gone with that probably, but it's not really letting me do anything in here. And I don't have the neuromets. Oh. Neuropolymer, sorry. Polymeric shield. Let's get it. Who knows? Maybe it will be fun. Q or E? Let's go with Q for the shield. Seems like I'll be able to use two, so who knows? Polymeric shield defense against enemy attacks and instantly counterattacks. Okay. Saving data. So we'll save up. Damn, that's one beefed up rabbit. Okay, so I guess this is the closest thing to me. So let us try exploring whatever this Fin's is. Scanning cycle. Module. Limb. Arm. Right. Found. Location. Vavilov floor. Transmission obstructed. Data oh, incomplete. <sighs> What's the holdup? Why can't we locate the module this time? I'm afraid I can't help you. There's some kind of interference on this floor. Possible sources of interference include electromagnetic shielding or the presence of a large, elongated object. A large, elongated object? That sounds odd. on one door okay so this is the damn thing which attacked us on the surface headshot achievement stop spawning chillas Did not get all this freaking ammo for me to use it immediately on Chelas. So I don't know what to think about this drilling machine robot thingy. Wow, there's a big honking thing in here, and lots of little fuckers. Crap. Well, 
having the initial HP definitely is helping. Show me what you got! Lousy piece of shit! And the electric What am I supposed to do with this? ...is helping quite severely to reduce the amount of attackers as the electricity is able to stagger the enemy. And therefore I have some sort of breathing room to increase or reload the ammo. I have no idea what these rocks are. Uh, facility scientists were able to locate previously unknown minerals under the South Urals Plateau. This recent discovery has prompted open competition among Soviet youth to come up with the best name for these new minerals. Okay. The... What is this, a kid's game? That is a puzzle key. Nice. What's it for? I believe it activates some sort of process. Fudge me. The controls are kind of janky. I was never really good at snake. Oh, Holy fuck, Charles! Is that the process I just activated? Run! Where? Hey, hey! What the hell are you doing, damn it? Okay. You metal son of a bitch. That, that... You scared the ever-living fuck out of me. That was close. Well, whatever. I got the arm. This looks like the right one. Let's go find the rest. Come to Papa! Crap, we lost the module. Where is that freaking bullshit with the grenades? Cannot do a uh, lengthy shot with the AK at long distance. That seems to lack the accuracy. are there. One more. Holy shit. All because of a hand? The hell were these robots using that hand for? Shut up. Don't, don't answer that. You guys are disgusting. Or maybe I am. Who knows? Uh, at least there will be some salvage to gather. I'll get those metal parts and stuff. Fat boy rockets again. I really need to learn how to get the fat boy launcher or whatever it is. Or maybe I'll just start disassembling those. I'm not usually for disassembling of ammunition. Because eventually you will find out you could have used it for some weapon or something. Is there anything I have left behind? Still seems to be some stuff. So let's grab it because this game has the tendency of like uh, letting you get to a zone once and then once it's like done, you're screwed. 
I'm not really sure if I'm gonna read all that. Maybe it has some explanation to the lore, but I'm here to shoot robots and uh, make weird jokes, so I guess we're gonna Charles, move on. Why did the boss take the real beta connectors out of commission? Were they defective? Not entirely. Dr. Sechenov wasn't convinced that there was any need for discretionary authority within Collective. So the boss wanted total equality, but Molotov's schemes changed his mind. Perhaps so, Comrade Major. What do you mean, perhaps? Dr. Sechenov wanted equality for everyone. There can be no question of that. But consider this. The <laughs> Alpha Fuck in the head. Watch out! The very beginning. Okay, um, it's really difficult to listen to what I heard you guys have to say. It. That's going after me. Let's see what you got. If you don't like shooting that yellow bar, you will do the trick. try to do when I take the head away from them. That is if I'll even live long enough to be able to do that. Pray to your tin god! Is that it? Call me impressed. Just burn through the entire ammunition stockpile I had. I still don't have the cartridges in order to open up these rooms. Okay, there's one. Well, that's kind of awkward. So, am I supposed to look into the planters for these, or why would the scanner then not show it? No, that's the corpse which we already talked to. I feel like they're just gonna keep reopening these damn doors and just keep throwing more and more shit in my general direction. And I feel like I need to go install the hand. Just, just gonna open up a door to a whole lot more problems. Yeah, okay. First arm's good. How many more things do we still need? I really need to craft more ammo and potentially equip. Uh, let's go with the shock module over here. I don't need Chelos to be appearing in here. Not that crazy. These things are still freaking me the hell out. I really want to gain access to this room, though. The, the problem is... I don't know if I already missed out on some of these things being hidden in the planters or whatever. So, 
guess we can go explore this location a little bit. Maybe I missed something. So I definitely missed two pieces of some components. There's the computer. And there's one more thing. But I think that's that's about it. That is one scary looking robot, and that is one beautiful piece of mineral. I don't know what that's meant to be. Someone can let me know in the comments, maybe. Floor above, huh? Really need to craft more ammo. Take a look at the stockpile of things I have stored already. Cannot open up this. <laughs> Maybe there is a room already. Uh, let's use this in order to heal up the HP. Something up here, and then there's one below. I was hoping for a save room. Scanning the exhibition area. Module head found. Establishing coordinates. Assessing structural integrity. Head location. Chelame floor. Structural integrity compromised. Excessive pressure detected. Excessive pressure. Poor thing. It's crushing her. It's like they dropped a whole building on top of her. Shit, it's dark here. I got a bad feeling about this. I'm gonna hate this. Because I already know what the hell they're going for. And it's gonna be those damn spores trying to turn the corpses into... Whatever. Zombies. Don't you dare. Interesting choice of music. This is meant to represent some sort of underwater city, I'm guessing, huh? The Neptune Complex is an underwater city that has been located at the bottom of Lake Lazur since 1944. The complex is a one-of-a-kind research facility whose primary task is working with special water plants used in the production of polymers. The structure of the complex and the unprecedented precision of its design impressed the world's engineering community so much that in 1954, international investors asked Soviet specialists to build another underwater city off the coast of Iceland. Interesting. 
kind of wonder what they made the structure out of because I still have an issue with the whole Bioshock idea of building just like buildings out of concrete and steel and glass underwater. The, the pressure will just not let that be done. I don't think so. One more round, come on. Don't hold back on me. Uh, I guess we can go with the frost one, just to see what's up. If it's even usable versus the robot units. I think that's the station where we craft stuff. supplies so what will it be major what? okay so storage we need that so uh, I guess I'll scavenge a few of these or disassemble a few of these okay so storage uh, don't want the small medical supplies, they are useful, but, uh... Okay, ammo. I could have sworn I had some. That's something, but it's definitely not gonna help carry me too far. Is there some sort of, like, uh... Organizational function, which I'm not aware of, so I don't have to manually push all these things up top. I'll definitely take the extra shot one. We haven't really expanded our backpack or nothing, so... I, I need, honestly, all the medical supplies I can get. Just crafting, ammo... I kind of don't like the fact that every time I craft the ammunition, I have to return into the... ...menu and make more. Like this robot is almost wanted to turn me into the Hellraiser by running all those spikes through me. So why would it not be able to craft multiple types of ammunition simultaneously, right? Access granted. Let's see, do we have some additional polymers? Energy management, lost health is recycled into energy. Adds another power cell to the recirculation chamber. Okay. Polymer shield. Deploys polymer shield at full capacity when retracting, it causes an explosion that sprays enemies with combat polymer. The skill has a cooldown. Your glove can spray targets and surfaces with the jet of combat polymer. Unsupplied combat polymer can be set on fire, electrified or frozen, dealing damage to the corresponding type of affected enemies. Mass telekinesis. Frostbite. Character. Avatar resistance to elemental damage, absolutely. Okay, we'll need to get more polymers and... Data. Ammo is now resolved. Let's see what puzzle awaits us. Okay, so far so good.
Okay, that took care of those. Crispy fucking. Where's the shit ass way out of here? Underground or something? <laughs> well, the. We are talking about the damn head of the damn thing, so I'm guessing it's gonna be tricky. They're not gonna part ways with it willingly because God knows what those freaks were doing with it. Is there anything else that I can potentially salvage in here? See, I would have totally missed that. And I think I just picked up a large uh, Neuromed capsule, so that would definitely piss me off. <clears throat> okay, I think we have to go through here. Thankfully, I'm able to actually extract whatever is inside of that container through even the closed cave. And I'm shocked at how many people were stuck in these ventilation shafts and got killed. Fuck me. Where am I supposed to find the head? You need to enter Icarus Hall. It is located on the second story of this venue. So where's the entrance? Unfortunately, I do not have this information. Everything's got mixed up after the malfunction. Have you considered powering the Beluga? How is that supposed to help? I don't know. Just a suggestion. I'm not gonna like this, right? What the hell is that thing doing? It's like I'm fighting some sort of robotic ostrich. energy cells are something that I should try to focus on. That thing is so far not doing anything, so thank god. Because they can be creepy and uh, just completely mind their own goddamn business, but you do something and they can suddenly turn on you, little freaks. Okay. by the frozen rounds. That's a little... Okay, I'm seeing why these guys were brought in. There's the freaking camera. That's why I did not even consider that cameras are gonna be in here. So that's what brought in those two. Yes. Did you want something? Were you on the tour? Does it matter? No. Maybe. Yes, certainly, but it no longer matters. I dislike this vague, jelly-like state of mind, and do not wish to prolong this mental agony with pointless communication. The mental agony of pointless communication? <laughs> Charles, how did this comrade know you and I have been talking? Such sparkling wit and biting humor, comrade major. I find myself in the uncomfortable situation not entirely unlike a long wait before a parting or a long journey that nobody is eager to take but needs to or is forced to. That's a gloomy philosophy you got there. I've got nothing to add. Okay. So we took out the robots here, the cameras in here. Uh, I honestly, I'm still confused as hell when it comes to this unlocking Charles, mini game. So after the whole beta connector idea was dead, they made the neuro connectors with discretionary authority? I'm afraid so. The power struggle in the Kremlin will never end. The party elite insisted on having power even within Collective. Well, they're our government, right? We're the USSR. Indeed we are. 
But Collective was designed to be for everyone on Earth, and the USSR is not the only country. We can't let capitalists and imperialists into Collective. Why not? Collective was designed as a worldwide union for equal human beings, where robots will do everything for them. Everyone will have the same opportunities. The capitalists won't like the sound of that. Unfortunately, no one in power will see equality as an appealing prospect. So to avoid being crushed by the Kremlin, Dr. Sechenov programmed discretionary authority into Collective. Okay, lots of salvageable stuff in here. So that's awesome. Most of it, unfortunately, has gone into the storage itself. I want to explore that one locked door. Still don't know what to think about this knucklehead. These locks are the easiest to deal with. You just have to click the mouse when the light is over the icon where you want to go. And that's it, that, that's the resolution to the puzzle. Some of the other ones are kind of more annoying. These elevators are giving me a sense of claustrophobia. Whoa. Destroy the tooth chillas. So where's the very top? Oh shit. Yep. Holy crap. I think that one got destroyed, but there were two of them, no? There's something in the water. And I don't know what it is. But I guess I'll need to go fetch it. These are quite dangerous blueprints to make because if something goes wrong with the ceiling yeah if all this water would pour in down into the room below that's a whole lot of mess to clean up i feel like whenever i'll go to next section they will just drop in more of those knuckleheads um this weird water might allow me to get to some fun location. I definitely know that I'll have to get to the high ground. I think it's picking up a robot at the bottom there. Might be that one knucklehead we left behind. Okay, so I'll have to swim in this weird thing, I guess. I don't know how I feel about this. This is always kind of freaking me out. Because it's defying the laws of gravity. It has fish swimming in it. Amongst other stuff. But I gotta say, the guy is in tremendous shape. Because I will probably not be able to do this. The swimming, absolutely yes. But this monkey ranching, I don't think so. Okay, the other one has not seen me yet. Lights out! 
I think we already depleted the frost module. But the jumping over some of these ledges is still a little awkward for me. And I never know what to think about the music because um, there were like few notices about the other author rights and stuff like that. Like the videos are not flagged or anything. But it makes me a little unsure because I definitely don't need to have some sort of problem on the channel. And I think your channel is only like verified after you have the thousand subscribers or stuff like that. Go down and shut up. But as long as there's like a feedback for this, then of course I'll try to upload the content. It's just I can... I'm trying to finish uh, Warhammer, Bolt Gun. I'm trying to... I cannot shoot the damn mineral player. Okay, that's not good. Where the hell did they put this freaking head? Yeah, I guess I'll have to climb across. I really don't want to F up. In here, because... That would mean a really long replay. Of a section. This Close is where the power comes from. Are you sure? Definitely. Because this place has my favorite thing in the whole fucking world. A relay. Really? I thought you were more partial to canisters. Oh, come on. I'm dumb, endlessly stupid, and I died because of my stupidity. If somebody buries me, put these words on my tombstone. I wouldn't hold your breath. They'll probably just dump you all in a mass grave. Why? Did many other people die? Yeah. Way too many. Ooh, that's nice. I wouldn't want to, you know, stray from the collective. <laughs> the more the merrier, right? Yeah, good times. You say so. Okay, let's solve this puzzle. I don't know how yet, but I'm sure I'll figure out something. Uh, I need all three of them to be green. Okay, we're entering the outside. And that can mean a whole lot of problems. I need to install some sort of modules again. Uh... I seem to have only shock cartridge. I'm just getting started. I'm trying to shoot those canisters. The large magazine is truly helping me here. Because with the staggering effect of the electric shock, I'm able to continuously deal damage. If there's more of them. It's shocking amount of rounds that I have to deplete here. And I could swear I hear a cello or something flying around. You guys are really not helping me get home. Oh, there's driving sequence, I guess. Nothing in the luggage. Well, let's see what's inside of the barn. 
I've done quite a lot of stuff, goddammit. Even came across Bad Boy. So that's what the ammo I keep collecting for is. You see, this is why exploration is so important. If I would have just sat down into that damn car and drive off, I would have not picked up the damn blueprints. And I would be one unhappy person then. Comrade Stockhausen, I took that foreign journalist for the secret tour of the VPNH. He saw everything. You should have seen his eyes bugging out of his head. They're going to be dying of envy when his article comes out. They'll slap more sanctions on us and order an extra bunch of bots. <laughs> Those capitalists sure are a weird bunch, huh? Gonna unlock this one piece of shelf. I need to find like the right angle to get it opened. I want whatever is inside. You gotta be freaking kidding me, seriously. Stupid chair. Yeah, I really want to turn down the music. I'm, I'm just pessimistic and paranoid about it. It, it sets the atmosphere perfectly, but it uh, makes me really nervous. And this is the streamer version, so I don't know what to tell you. Come on, goddammit, you gotta let me open up that one freaking thing. Even if there's like the small med kit, I don't care. Charles, you think Velatova was in cahoots with Petrov because of more than just love, right? What makes you so sure? I should note that Larissa Velatova is Hold this for me, would you? Scientist. She independently completed a project that most of the world's greatest scientific minds could not have accomplished. What's your point? She is far from stupid and would never blindly follow orders without serious justification, no matter who might be giving them. Are you trying to say that good people are turning on the boss and he's getting rid of them? <laughs> so Petrov's actually a nice guy? People whom the motherland has given everything must have serious reasons for betraying her. But the bloody path Petrov has chosen is unacceptable. A capitalist collaborator. Fuck him. I could not agree more. Okay, uh... Trying to determine the range at which... The AK is still... Effectively dealing damage. Where's your fucking button? I think the electric module is depleted, maybe. I don't know if it's that once you, like, deplete the magazine or something, it's gone. Or because I have to shoot so many rounds, it's far easier for me to deplete the module. But I'll probably have to take the ones in the storage which I have out of it. In order to be able to use them and to deal damage to these knuckleheads. Whether it's frozen, frozen damage or whichever. Don't you dare require these knuckleheads. I don't need that. I really don't. There has to be a nest of these knuckleheads. I honestly don't un know where else would they come from then. And I'll have to go fetch more AK ammunition. Go down. I said go down. So I have to return back to the hall in order to obtain the head, but the thing Please is that it's kind of guiding me up here, so I'm not really sure how to comprehend this. Storage. Yeah, we don't have the medicinal stuff. That is not good. Okay, so we have two of these electrical ones. 
I'll take one frost. And we have plenty of shotgun. Let's all swap it like this. Plenty of pistol rounds. I truly want to find out how the driving works in here. It's just your simple WASD and how much damage can this freaking thing take. It seems to be WASD. And of course the radio is blasting the tunes. And I'm not able to really... Turn off the radio. I wonder how much damage... Can these things see? Okay, so the idea is gonna be... To leave the car here. Seriously, you have to find out where the hell is that stupid head. But why would it lead me up here then? Am I able to tap into the map? It's the testing grounds. I would have to like travel all around the solar panels probably with the car. In order to be able to return back. Is it truly what they're trying to tell me that I need to do? <laughs> but then why would it lead me all the way up here? This is the show I kept hearing. Knuckleheads, get in here! I still hear more of them. Yeah, I, I wasn't sure if that would work out, but thank god I did not die in that fall. Because that would have been awkward. So I did not find the head. Which is a little concerning to me. But it seems like this is the way out. Oh, crap. Already saw me. Install the frost module. That worked. I don't know if I need to destroy those capsules or what the hell am I supposed to aim for? Crap. Don't want to get caught in the explosion radius. This knucklehead just passed through me or in front of me. Where the hell is the damn head now? 
Because I, I got like taken into a place where maybe I should have not even been allowed to go. The Beluga is the world's fastest multi-purpose submersible vehicle. Mm -hmm. It can reach speeds of up to 78 kilometers per hour and is able to carry out civilian and military missions at depths down to 3,000 meters. What the hell was this? If you ask me, we're better off exploring the depths of the ocean than outer space. Fascinating. Why? Because you got to know your home before you can start visiting other people's. I have no idea what just happened. I approached this, I tried to climb on top, and somehow the, the conversation got all skipped. And I'm not sure what triggered it. Now, how the hell do I get to that upper section? We, we know definitely that there's, like, no hole. In the surface. Of uh, the upper floor, I don't. I, I have no idea. Unless I, I'm missing something, maybe some sort of ventilation shaft or something. Something. I don't see it. There's nothing in the ceilings. But yeah, I also agree that we should know the depths of our uh, oceans before we start messing up with other planets. We have plenty of work to do to fix the one which we have, but the thing is, I, I can understand why the people who are like trying to be activists and protest against global warming and stuff like that, it's just stupid to protest in Germany because Germany, United States, UK, they have been able to reduce their uh, CO2 output, but like by like 10 to 15 percent. But the thing is, if you would go to India or China, those countries were able to increase their CO2 output by 200 percent. So, yeah, you're protesting in a bad place, and I think the solution is not that you throw a paint at some painting, but you actually study. And you come up with a way that would be able to replace fossil fuels. That is the way, because unfortunately, money speaks. And uh, I'm quite sure even this doctor who's responsible for all these robots and everything got the funding approved because he was able to come up with ways that would save money. I think that is the correct way to approach it, not freaking gluing your hand to highway. I don't think that leads to anything productive. I really want to find out how the fuck do I get to the upper floor. But no matter how the hell I look at it, I, I just don't see anything. And if we take the... The only idea I have is to use the elevator, explore the upper floor, and try to look for maybe some maintenance shaft that would lead us to the lower floor or something <laughs> but let me know what you think about this uh, activist stuff as well i'm kind of interested to know about that because i can understand the uh, opinion and the message but i think the way it's being approached is done horribly wrong and that's why everyone's making fun of them. Okay, now how the fuck do I get there? I don't think I can scavenge this robot because it got damaged upon landing here and trying to drop off the robots. Do I have some sort of oxygen levels or something? There has to be a freaking way to get down there. But I don't think punching the healing is the way to do it. And if I go all the way up top, that's also not gonna help me in any way. 
So how the hell am I supposed to get there? God damn it. I want to assemble as much of the robot as I can in this episode. I still don't know what the thumbnail is going to be for the video. I have a few ideas, but it's going to be tricky for me to figure out. I, I swear to God, I don't know how to get up there. Do I need to press every goddamn switch? Uh, that's the beluga thingy. Let's see if this thing helps. Okay. What the hell? Did it? Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm not really sure destroying the, <laughs> the museum is the right way to go around it, but eh. Uh, what do I know, huh? Wait, what are you doing all the way down here? Head back up this instant. Your suit isn't designed for this kind of pressure. What pressure? Where do you think we are? We're underwater, comrade. We're running a check on the deep sea device. Just look. We got fish, sea creatures, and other fauna all around us. Get back up to the surface, frogman. This is interesting. What's interesting is how you can withstand this kind of pressure. If you don't get back to the surface right now, you're a dead man. Off you go, frogman. Keep your left arm up and watch where you're going. Steer clear of those rotors. Hey, what's the matter with this guy, Charles? I mean, I get that he's dead and all, but still. This is the neural network's equivalent of PTSD. If a victim dies suddenly, their consciousness can modulate an alternate perception of reality based on their preferences and environment. Oh, I guess that makes sense. Interesting. The stuff we learn. Oh crap, even these ones are here. That's not good because that means that they can pop up and start turning corpses into those infected things. I don't really like those infected things. So, where's that head of yours? My head is where it's supposed to be, but Claire's head should be somewhere on your floor. Like I said earlier, something is crushing it with terrible force. Like a migraine, like an excavator, like an entire mountain. I get it. I really do. All your whining is... Please select the desired person. Yeah, sorry, I had to interrupt that, but we're going to need some ammo. And I need to take a look at what do I have in my storage. So, crafting the fat boy... I definitely don't have enough metal. The Dominator sounds interesting as well, but I would need to seriously save up on the metal components. Yeah, I'm not really sure how this is going to work out. I'm, I'm going to try to... Maybe hold on. Use the pistol. And get the module upgrade for the electric shock. Maybe we're gonna have some boss fire or something. I I don't know. The hell is this? <laughs> Looks like a maze for kids. This will be a cakewalk. Uh, I'm not sure about that because I'm the one who's supposed to solve it. And okay. So where the hell am I trying to get this ball in? Jumpy little thing, ain't ya? Oh, okay. So I need to get it over there. So this, this, and how the fuck am I gonna get you over there? Where, where's the ball? Okay, so I think we will have to... Mm -hmm. Interesting puzzle. So I think I'll need to get it over moi. How do I rotate you, huh? And now like this, so that the ball goes through here and over there maybe. Hey, I think I get it. And this brings back Resident Evil Village flashbacks. 
Right? It was in Village where we had to do this nonsense as well. Those strange puzzles. Okay. Let's rotate. To get you... Okay, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on! No, it was going actually the right way, son of a biscuit. This is so weird. I don't even know how we're now controlling we're getting this. somewhere. No, we're not. I screwed up. I need to get it over here. Oh, come on, stop. No. Okay. No, not there. Down Do you here. have any idea what you're doing, Major? Probably. <laughs> yeah! Gotcha! Nice! Easy. Hold on. Uh, something happened with the mouse and... Upon a bed of shingle, legs raised like some old poor, far gone in passion. The burning, deadly, poison sweating mass. Okay. Anything to be explored in here? Ballooned with evil gas. On this future sense, the sun blazed in gold, cooking it to a turn with eager care. Okay, that so robot really likes to listen to herself the talk. Mingled, the sky, as on the opening of a flower, on the super. Yeah, I'm, I'm just afraid that once I get down there, the they're gonna either with make this thing land power. on top of me you or who knows. Outright, lies trumpeted upon the rotten belly. Whence larvae poured in legions far and wide and There's like all these weird pop-up tunnels almost like from Mario Universe and I'm just expecting for like a, a crap ton elated, of damage all of a sudden to be pushed my way. You think the Yes, found the head. We was... gotta keep moving. Charles, any idea how much time we got left? I cannot say for sure. But definitely not much. Gotcha. I wasn't sure what to think about those doors because, you know, usually means trouble ahead. Okay, can I? What the hell am I supposed to get there? Come on. I don't see a way from down below. Okay, I, I think I'm starting to understand and I don't like this one bit. Can someone shut up that TV? Ooh, uh, fudge. This is gonna be annoying as hell to deal with. Too many falls and I'll just deplete my medical supplies from that thing alone. Crap. I don't know, it, it's a weird, weird sequence So, uh, Not sure what you think about it. Okay, let's try to use this. And uh... Oh shit, this one is going down. It's like the stormy cloud is uh, affected by something. No! Get! Get! Shit! Fuck's sake. It's weird because of the way the jumping works here and the like sort of jolt forward, backward and to the side is able to get you sometimes further. 
than you might need and I don't know if I'll be able to make that jump or maybe I need to get here and try to jump to the ledge immediately okay it's honestly trying to figure things out so Icarus is the pride of facility 3826 the floating platforms made in flight. So, what was wrong with the real beta connectors? Since Collective was originally planned without any discretionary authority, everyone in it was supposed to be equal. Yeah, we already talked about that. Then why'd they need the beta connectors? To secure Collective against unforeseen threats from individuals who might wish to control it. So how could beta connectors stop this from happening? They didn't give their carriers any discretionary authority, but they did allow them to be present within Collective without being a part of it. In other words, they had total autonomy while retaining access to the information network. So what? That's basically what we have right now. You're seeing this from a human perspective. What other kind of perspective could I... Oh, crap. The boss wanted to put beta rings on some robots so no one else in Collective could control them. Indeed they are. At first, Dr. Sechenov planned to order his loyal twins to guard the Alpha Connector. While logged into Collective, he could control them from anywhere on Earth. At the same time, no one else would be able to give them orders. They wouldn't even know that they exist. Hold on, Charles. <laughs> I don't quite get it. Would it be possible to launch Collective with everybody equal, then destroy the Alpha Connector? Certainly, but that begs another question. Who would choose to do that? Okay, well, we're able to get the head a leg and an arm we're still missing one more component i think the episode is already pretty damn long enough so we're gonna cut it off over here because it's gonna take forever for youtube to process this into the hd quality and we're gonna see how many times i was right about the audio or maybe not so if you did like it give it a big thumbs up if you want to see more check out the playlist and of course uh, comments and everything help to push this through the algorithm towards more people so i can keep growing my channel i still think right now i'm getting more subscribers out of the 100 days in video games but to be honest i haven't even even started the newest one right now i need things to kind of calm down and for my schedule to somehow clear out so that i can actually come to work or come from work home and not just shower and go to sleep and then rinse and repeat i really would be able to do a whole lot more prepare more if things settle down but i'm gonna see what's gonna happen so i'll keep you posted in the meantime as per usual if there are topics games anything that you would like me to take a look at let me know through the comment section as per usual i'm gonna wish you a pleasant rest of the day and hopefully i'll see you all in the comments or at the next one thank you all for watching and bye bye for now Saving data.